nuestras historias, la manera de más lo que no hay. Y ellos se dejan algo que está bien, para decir que tuvimos algo. Y es por eso que pasó todo. Nos creíamos, aunque fue la gente de otros. Y no olvidaría. La maestra nos prometió que se convirtiera en algo así. Pero debíamos escribir todas las cosas así. Nos pidió que pensáramos en ti. Algo que nos pidió. Okay, okay. Good evening, people. How are you today? Welcome one more time to our English Corporativo class. Good evening, teacher. Okay, this is the last week for uh, pre intermediate one. Teacher, I, I have a question. Uh huh, tell me. De, en la plataforma hay que terminarlo esta semana. Yeah, I think you have until Sunday. Okay. Mm -hmm. well, they sent um, an email today, an email or WhatsApp. Yes, I, I saw it. Yeah, fecha de cierre de módulo y último día para completar plataforma 8 de noviembre. That is okay. Thursday, no Friday. That is Friday. Okay. Let's get started then. Tonight we are going to start with video okay let me share the audio okay we're going to start um with this video about pronunciation or intonation of questions. I remember we talked about this a um, few days ago. The difference in intonation between just no questions and information questions. Okay, that is this video about. So let's watch it, okay? Okay. To start today. In this lesson, participants would listen, notice, and use intonation in questions. Pronunciation. Intonation in questions. Part A. Listen and practice. Yes, no questions usually have rising intonation. WH questions usually have falling intonation. Do you like pop music? What kind of music do you like? Okay, so now that you have listened and paid attention, what I want you to do is to record your voice asking these questions. Try to do your best. Remember, rising and falling intonation is important. Okay, let's watch it one more time. Lesson, participants would listen, notice, and use intonation in questions. Pronunciation. Intonation in questions. Part A. Listen and practice. Yes, no questions usually have rising intonation. WH questions usually have falling intonation. Do you like pop music? What kind of music do you like? Okay, so now that you have listened and paid attention, what I want you to do is to record your voice asking these questions. Try to do your best. Remember, rising and falling intonation is important. Okay, very good. So, uh, 
we have the questions here to practice. Okay, the first three are um, just no questions, okay? These are just no questions, the first three. And the second part, they are information questions. So these have uh, rising intonation and these have falling intonation, okay? Uh, I'm gonna open your microphones to practice. Practice, okay. No. Okay, let's practice this first together. Repeat after me, please. Do you like to watch TV? Do you, Do you like, like to watch TV? TV? Do you like music? Do you like music? Do you like music? Do you play a musical instrument? Do you play a musical instrument? Now these have falling intonation. What programs do you like? What programs do you like? What programs do you like? What videos do you like? What videos do you like? Which musical instrument do you play? Which musical instrument do you play? Okay, very good, very good. Now, let's see. Miguel, please read the questions I'm going to point, okay? Okay, this. Read, Miguel. Read this one. Do you like to watch TV? No, this one. Bella Fletcher. Uh, do you like music? Do you like music? Okay. Yes, do you like music? Now this, Miguel. Miguel. Hola. Continue with this. Ah, uh, what video do you like? Okay, good. Dinora. Yes. This. Do you, do you play a music instrument? Good. This. Dinora. Uh -huh. Hi. Which music instrument do you play? Be careful, which musical instrument do you play? Okay, no, do you play? No. Oh. Do you play? Do you play? One more time, please. Which musical instrument do you play? Uh-uh. No, no, no. <laughs> no. Comience alto. Which musical instrument do you play? Which musical instrument do you play? Excellent, okay. It's difficult for us because we, we pronounce all the questions the same, okay? Good. Uh, Ivan. Yes, teacher. Yes. Do you like to watch TV? Okay, this. What program do you like? Okay. What programs do you like? What programs do you like? What okay. programs do you like? Good. Who's next here? Efrain, please. 
Efraim. Do you like music? Good. This? What videos do you like? Good. Um, Ricardo, this. Ricardo, read this question. Oh, okay, okay. Ok, estamos practicando la lectura de estas preguntas, ok. Ok, the last time. Together, please. Uh, do you like to watch TV? Everybody, do repeat. Like to watch TV? Uh, do, like, do, do like to watch TV? What programs do you like? What, what programs, programs do you like? Do you like music? Do you like music? Do you like music? What videos do you like? What videos do you like? What videos do you like? Do you play a musical instrument? Do you play a musical instrument? Which musical instrument do you play? Which musical instrument do you play? Do you play? Okay, I'm going to put you in groups. I'll give you two or three minutes to practice these questions, okay? Okay, I'm sorry. Okay. Patricia. No sé por qué, Patricia. Yo tengo todos los micrófonos activados aquí. Solo el suyo ya se activó. Listo, teacher. Okay, yes. Jessica. No sé, ahí está. Okay, so I'm going to put you in pairs and please. Practice the intonation of these questions. Okay? Okay. Mm -hmm. Do -do -do. Groups. 11 participants. Okay, five groups.
Okay, welcome back. Okay. Thanks. Good. Now we are going to continue with. Um... Okay, I, I want to reinforce this topic because uh, there are some exercises about this in the platform. Hay algunos ejercicios en la plataforma y quiero reforzar esto. This is uh, what we call subject pronouns. Okay. Subject pronouns. Um, every, every, uh, Pronoun has a sub, uh, subject or object pronoun. For example, uh, well, let me write it here better. Uh, for I, uh, I use another color. Well, in the black is gonna say, for I, Uh, is me for you it is you you um Okay. For he, him, for she, her, her. Mm -hmm. for it, it, it. Um, for we, us, us. Mm -hmm. for they, for they, them. them. Okay. Mm -hmm. okay. So, uh, and we use this to to avoid repetition, okay? For example, look at this sentence. I saw Mr. Brown this morning and gave Mr. Brown my homework. Okay, no repetir, Mr. Brown, decimos, and gave him okay and gave him yeah okay 
Exacto. Yo vi al señor Brown esta mañana y le entregué o le di mi tarea, mi tarea and gave him uh -huh. my homework. Okay. The second one. John likes computer games, but he doesn't play computer, computer games. games very often. Very often. What would it 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 very often it's very plural often. Uh, computer, computer games, games. Them. it uh, it no cuál es el plural de it Use. them them the day the day the day estamos hablando de computer games hey. Yo pensaba que por ser objetos decían que podía ir. It. Recuerde que es plural. El plural de it es they. ¿Ya? El plural de he, she, it es they. Ok. Ok. It's them. Them. Mm -hmm. John likes computer games, but he doesn't play them very often. No los juega muy seguido. Mm -hmm. Ok, number three. Neil Armstrong was born in 1930. Aquí no todos son object pronouns. Aquí algunos son pronombres, sujetos, ¿verdad? En este caso, Neil Armstrong was born in 1930. Neil Armstrong landed on the moon in 1969. Him. Repito, en este caso, it's just he. Vamos a usar he. No todos son subject pronouns. Mm -hmm. ¿Verdad? Sí. Vamos a cambiar el color, eso está muy claro. Vamos a usar azulito. Okay, penguins don't have li life near the North Pole. Penguins, uh, sorry, penguins don't live near the North Pole. Penguins live near the South Pole. They. They. They, exactly. They live near the South Pole. <laughs> My aunt lives in Toronto, but my aunt often comes to visit my family and me. Mm -hmm. she? Him. A ver, son dos los que vamos a, son dos los que vamos a cambiar aquí. My aunt lives in Toronto, but mm -hmm. my aunt Here. Here. aquí we we aunt what is aunt ¿Qué es aunt aunt is tía tía entonces her 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 no she 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 y en la otra es we estos vamos a ver solo a explicarle estos Us. siempre van después de, de un verbo. Um. De un verbo. Se los di, gave him. ¿Verdad? Vean, vean, estos, vean los ejemplos para repasar eso. And gave him. ¿eh? Play them. En cambio, estos no van después de un verbo. ¿Eh? Ah, van al contrario, van antes. ¿Verdad? Neil Armstrong landed, penguins leave, my aunt comes to visit us. Oh, she. Ok, my aunt comes to visit us. Ajá. Uh -huh. To visit us. Visitar nos. Mi tía vive en Toronto, pero ella 
viene, viene con frecuencia a visitarnos. ¿Ve? If you have your ticket, you can buy. You can give your ticket to that man over there. You can give it. Excellent. Give it. Yes. You can give it. Puede dárselo. Puede dárselo. Ajá, muy bien. First, my friend and I went shopping. Later, my friend and I went home. We. 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 Aquí es we. we. Vean. Después, nosotros fuimos a casa. ¿Verdad? Where was Sarah? I didn't see Sarah. Vean, see Sarah at the party last week. Her. 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 See her. El verbo está antes. Mm -hmm. yeah. Vean, vean que todo cuando usamos el verbo antes. Ve, visit a ah, my family. Give no, 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 it. No. Yes, yes. See her. Mm -hmm. Okay. Next. John is really, is a really nice guy. Mm -hmm. I like John a lot. Mm -hmm. I like him a lot. I like him. Exacto. Mm -hmm. I like him a lot. Mm -hmm. The planet Mars has two moons. The two moons are both very small. They. 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 Okay. Um, what is to para acá? Uh, I really like the cake. Unfortunately, I didn't have time to finish it. 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 Exactly. To finish it. No tuve tiempo para terminarlo. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Susie and I paid for the meal, but the waiter forgot to bring Susie and me the food. Bring us. Bring us. Bring us. us. Bring us. us. Okay. Okay. Any question here? Mm, no. No, teacher. I don't have a question. Okay, very good. Okay. Let's continue then with uh, the next topic. Uh, that is a conversation, okay? Let's play the video for the conversation. Where is it? Mm, yeah. Oh, we have a listening. Did you do the listening? Did you do the listening exercise already? Okay, escuchemos entonces este listening. Listen to four people on a TV game show. Three men want to invite Linda on a date. What kinds of things do they like? What kinds of things does Linda like? Welcome to Who's My Date? Today, Linda is going to meet Bill, John, and Tony. So, let's start with the first question on music. Bill, what kind of music do you like? Oh, classical music. Classical, okay. And how about you, John? Well, I like jazz. And you, Tony? My favorite music is rock. How about you, Linda? 
Well, I like pop music. I don't like jazz or classical music very much. Okay, now let's talk about movies. Bill, what kind of movies do you like? I like thrillers. And how about you, John? Oh, I like westerns. Westerns are good. And how about you, Tony? I love horror films. And what about you, Linda? I really like horror films too. <laughs> And now for question number three, Bill, what kind of TV programs do you like? Well, I like to watch news programs. John? Uh, well, you know, I really like talk shows. And Tony, how about you? I like game shows a lot. And Linda, what do you like? Well, I like talk shows and game shows. Okay, time is up. Now, who's the best date for Linda? Okay, I played one more time. Listen to four people on a TV game show. Three men want to invite Linda on a date. What kinds of things do they like? What kinds of things does Linda like? Welcome to Who's My Date. Today, Linda is going to meet Bill, John, and Tony. So, let's start with the first question on music. Bill, what kind of music do you like? Oh, classical music. Classical, okay. And how about you, John? Well, I like jazz. And you, Tony? My favorite music is rock. How about you, Linda? Well, I like pop music. I don't like jazz or classical music very much. Okay, now let's talk about movies. Bill, what kind of movies do you like? I like thrillers. And how about you, John? Oh, I like westerns. Westerns are good. And how about you, Tony? I love horror films. And what about you, Linda? I really like horror films, too. <laughs> And now for question number three. Bill, what kind of TV programs do you like? Well, I like to watch news programs. John? Uh, well, you know, I really like talk shows. And Tony, how about you? I like game shows a lot. And Linda, what do you like? Well, I like talk shows and game shows. Okay, time is up. Now, who's the best date for Linda? Okay, I don't know if you remember all the answers, if you have good memory, but let's try. What kind of music does Bill like? Oh, let me open your microphones, activate. Okay, everyone is activated, yes. Ah, uh, what kind of music does Bill like? Yes. Yes. Classical? Yes. Okay. I don't remember, so I'm gonna trust you. <laughs> I don't remember. Too. <laughs> What kind of, mov of movies does Bill like? Thrillers. Hmm. Thrillers? Bill, Bill is, the, is the first person. Yeah. Uh, yes, thrillers. Thrillers, okay. What kind of TV programs does Bill like? News. News programs. News programs. Program. What kind of music does John like? Rock. Yes. No, no, no. Yes. 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 Okay, yes. if you say it. What kind of movies does John like? Yes. Westerns. Yes. Westerns? Okay. Mm -hmm. What kind of TV programs does John like? Talk shows. And game shows. Okay. Mm, talk shows. 
I think just talk shows. I don't remember. Uh, okay, let's trust on them. <laughs> let's trust on the ladies. What kind of music does Tony like? Rock. 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 Okay. What kind of movies does Tony like? Horror films. Horror. Horror films. Yeah. What kind of TV programs does Tony like? Um, shows. Game shows. And what kind of music does Linda like? Oh, what kind of movies does Linda like? Horror films. Horror films. Horror films. What kind of TV programs does Linda like? Talk show and, Talk shows and games. And game shows. Okay, pretty good. Let's check your answers. Uh -huh. Ah, 22.92 out of 25. What is wrong? What is wrong? What is wrong? Oh, this I said you. No, no, six. Talk, six. talk shows. Talk yes, shows. Talk shows. Yes. Yes. talk shows. yes. Okay, I think it, it is the only one. Okay. Good. Let's check again. Yes, you're right. Okay, perfect. Very good. You can practice listening this many times, okay? To yeah, practice. Okay. Excellent. Okay. Now we have a conversation for, um, well, to practice, okay? The topic is an invitation, an invitation. Okay, let's listen to this conversation, okay? Here it goes. In this lesson, participants will listen to a conversation where wood for invitations is used when making plans. We will learn through this conversation how to accept or refuse an invitation. As you listen to the audio program, pay attention to expressions such as I'd like to and I'd love to. An invitation. I have tickets to the soccer match on Friday night. Would you like to go? Thanks. I'd love to. What time does it start? At 8 o'clock. That sounds great. So, do you want to have dinner at 6? Uh, I'd like to, but I have to work late. Oh, that's okay. Let's just meet at the stadium before the match, around 7.30. Okay, let's meet at the gate. That sounds fine. See you there. where wood for invitations is used when making plans. We will learn through this conversation how to accept or refuse an invitation. As you listen to the audio program, pay attention to expressions such as I'd like to and I'd love to. An invitation. I have tickets to the soccer match on Friday night. Would you like to go? Thanks. I'd love to. What time does it start? At 8 o'clock. That sounds great. So, do you want to have dinner at 6? Uh, I'd like to, but I have to work late. Oh, that's okay. Let's just meet at the stadium before the match, around 7.30. Okay, let's meet at the gate. That sounds fine. See you there. Okay, very good. Let's practice that conversation together, okay? Okay. Listen and repeat yeah. after me. I have tickets to the soccer match on Friday night. Would you like to go? Repeat. 
Thanks. I'd love to. What time does it start? Thanks. I love to. What time does it start? At eight o'clock. That sounds great. At eight o'clock. So, do you want to have dinner at six? That's great. Oh, I like to, but I have to work late. Oh, I like to, but I have to work late. Oh, that's okay. Let's just meet at the stadium before the match around seven thirty. Oh, oh okay. Let me meet at the gate. Okay. That sounds fine. See you there. That's fine. See you there. Okay, now I am Dave and you are Susan, okay? I have tickets to the soccer match on Friday night. Would you like to go? Thanks. I love the one time those start. At eight. Oh, I like to, but I have to work late. Okay, let's meet at the gate. Good. Now you are Dave and I am Susan. You begin one, two, three. Thanks. I'd love to. What time does it start? At eight. That sounds great. So do you want to have dinner at six? Oh, that's okay. Let's just meet at the stadium before the match around 7 30. Okay, let's meet That sounds fine. See you there. Okay, very good. Any question about the conversation? No. 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 I, I is the contract form that I would. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Okay. I is contraction for. Shut up, your dog, please. <laughs> okay. is I would. I is a contraction for I would. Okay? Okay. Okay. I would love to. Me encantaría. Me encantaría. Mm -hmm. I like to. Me gustaría. Okay. And remember the pronunciation of would, would, La letra L, ignorenla. Ignorenla. Wood. La L, ignorenla. No suena. Wood. Wood. No, no, por ahí oigo una L. No, la L, ignorenla por completo. Wood. 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 No es good. Nice. 
Casi que hasta la O también, ¿verdad? Es wood. Ok. I put you in pairs to practice the conversation, ¿ok? Ok. Practice the conversation in pairs, please. One, two, one, two, one, two. Ok, perfect. I'll give you three minutes to practice that conversation. Oh, uh -huh. somebody there. Eunice, uh, I'm going to join you in a group. Eunice, join a group, please. Okay, welcome back. 
Okay, to finish today, we are going to practice the way to invite someone, okay? And you want to extend an invitation, so you can use this form. Yeah. Would you like to go out on Friday? Would you like to go out for dinner? Would you like to go to the movies? Would you like to come home? Okay, would you like to go for coffee? Different invitations. And we have different ways to say yes, to accept the invitation. Yes, I would. Yes, I'd love to. Yes, I'd really like to go. Okay, these are different forms to accept the invitation. And these are different forms to uh, decl decline the invitation, to refuse the invitation, to say no thank you. Okay, these are different forms. For example, would you like to go to a soccer match? I like to but I have to work late. I like to, but I need to save money. I like to, but I want to visit my parents. Okay, so you are declining the invitation. You are saying no in a polite form. En una forma educada, la verdad, le está diciendo que me gustaría, pero I have to work. I need to save money. Ya no puede gastar. Está, necesita guardar dinero. I want to visit my parents. Okay. Let's practice. Repeat after me, please. Would you like to go out on Friday? Would you like to go out like on Friday? Yes, I would. Yes, I would. Yes, I would. Yes, I love to. Thanks. Yes, I'd yes, love to. Thanks. Yes, I'd really like to go. Yes, I'd really like to go. Okay. Would you like to go out to, um, sorry, would you like to go to a soccer match? I like to, but I have to work late. I like to, but I need to save money. I like to, but I need to save money. I like to, but I want to visit my parents. Okay, very good, very good. Okay, people, let's stop here today. We will continue tomorrow with this uh, topic, okay? Any questions so far? Okay. Mm, no. No questions? No questions. Great. Okay. Okay, so let's stop here for today. And see you see tomorrow. You tomorrow. Bye. Bye, bye. Have a good night. Bye. Bye. Good night. Okay. Remember good to work in the platform. Good All right. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Take care. Thank you, teacher. Okay. Good night. You. Good night, everyone. Bye. bye. bye.